someone keeps going back to the old messages someone keeps going back to the old messages all of a sudden they make a lot of sense. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorine. I have a prophetic word for someone. Now, there is a saying that we live life forward, but we understand it backward. Someone needs to go back to the old messages. What are the things that God told you some time ago? What are the prophecies that you received from God some time ago? Years back, those ones that you wrote down and you have forgotten about them. Go back and look for them and you will understand well why you are going through what you are going through. You understand better this season in your life. You understand the challenges that you are going through. We live life forward, but indeed we understand it backward. Most often God will declare to us the end from the beginning. But he doesn't tell us about the mess in the middle. But that end, whatever happens in that middle is taking you to that expected end. And sometimes we tend to forget about what he said at the beginning. And until you can go back to those old messages and to those old prophecies and remember what he said at the beginning, you will never ever understand. If I can share my story, if you followed me live for, for a while, you, 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 are, you are familiar with this story. For instance, my story, I've had to deal with hip osteoarthritis for, for many years, for decades actually. For like 27 years, I trusted God for healing. I believed God, I prayed, I fasted, I sowed seeds, but it never happened. At the beginning of the year, I thought to myself, it showed that I needed to go in for a hip replacement surgery. And I did that. And I was thinking, I, I, I knew that the hip replacement surgery was all that I needed. Once I go through it, I will be just fine. Unfortunately for me, I went through the hip replacement surgery and it still didn't work. And then I had to go back for a second surgery. I was devastated. For a moment, I felt like this is too much. I can't bear this. I can't go. Why do I have to suffer like this for something that God can just heal? And sometimes it doesn't make sense because I've prayed for people. I've had testimonies, healing testimonies. I prayed for someone and they had a tumor and the tumor disappeared instantly. I've had testimonies praying for people physically online. But then how can God not heal me? Why? is the anointing working and not working in my own life and then while i was at that point of of breakdown of depression and god comes to me in an encounter and reminds me of something he told me many many years ago when i just started walking with him and god gave me a prophecy and he said um, he was going to use me in healing and the miraculous and it and then time passed by and i remember somewhere along the line i believed him for healing and i end and and i stepped and we had a program in church we had a crusade and i stepped into church i had been fasting and praying Trusting God for one thing, healing. And I, as I entered the church, prophecy, the woman of God that was ministering calls me out by prophecy and says, God started talking to me about you when I was still at home. God says he's anointing you for healing. And I was like, God, I don't want to heal. I just want to be healed. Don't use me to heal. I was still even in my process. I wasn't a pastor then and it didn't make a lot of sense. And then God comes now in the midst of this and then reminds me of what he said, the message he gave me some years back. And he says, did you really think, how do I get you to the place of healing? Or how do I stay that anointing if you don't know what it means to go through pain? How are you going to have compassion? 
compassion for others who are going through pain. If you don't know what it means to, 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 to be in, to, to go through difficulties, to pray and not have answers, how are you going to understand what it means to serve God despite the fact that your, your prayers have not been answered? And I was like, God, mercy. And then all of a sudden, it made sense. I understood why I had to go through the things I had to go through. I understand why God had to leave me, go through all of this. I understand, I understood why God had to allow me go through the pain. And someone watching me right now, you're going through some situations yourself and you're dealing with some pain yourself. And But it's not because God wants to kill you. It's because that is the route to take you to your, to your desired end, to take you to that destiny, to take you to that place, to that prophecy fulfillment. There is a route, there is a road, there is a that there is a pathway for you to get to that place and sometimes it's not funny that's why you need to go back always to remember what god told you because most of the things that god tells us we didn't have we are we, 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 we don't understand fully the magnitude of it at the time god is telling me is giving me healing anointing as a matter of fact i didn't i didn't pray for that prophecy i didn't even pray to cement it or to receive it all i was telling god was i i all i need is healing i don't want to heal people all i need is healing little did i know that i was to become this woman of god little did i know because but god is telling me at that point in time because he knows what i'm i'm about to go through and he knows where he's taking me so he wants me to have understanding when he starts taking me through this as of that time i was in pain but i was not in so much excruciating pain like i have been in the past two years the past two years i've barely been unable to walk ah i've been i've been stuck in the house for the past two years and i would sit here sometimes and i preach the word of god but at the end of it i can't stand on my two feet my husband would need to come and help me out of here to even take me to the room and no one would know that but I can't do physical ministry but God knew that this time was going to come but I didn't know that I didn't foresee that and I kept hoping that God is going to heal me and I didn't understand why God would have to allow me go through this someone there ah, there is a message there is a word that God gave you and you need to go back to it you need to remind yourself of it and then you understand why you had to go through pain in order for you to get to the place of, uh, of, of, of healing. Why you had to go through? Because God doesn't just want to heal you. He wants to use you as a, uh, as a healer. You understand why you had to go through lack in order to get to the place of abundance that God promised you. Because he doesn't just want to bless you. He wants to make you a blessing. Because whatever God wants to use you to do, he is going to start by you being deficient of that thing the thing you are going to walk in you are going to walk into them in the miraculous if god wants to use you in the miraculous you start by needing a miracle yourself if god wants to use you in healing you start by being sick yourself god wants to use you to sponsor the kingdom or as a or, or as a a helper this the, the people that are called to help orphanages and all that that kind of financial help kingdom help now uh, then then you are going to start by going through need yourself go back to what god told you what was the message that god gave you what message did god give you hidden in that message is an explanation for what you've been through and the devil might have been attacking you you might have been battling with the devil but if god allows it it is because he's using it to work some things out for your good it's not meant to kill you but it's meant to take you to a place and i know sometimes it seems like it's been forever i understand that because that's the reality of my life that is something i have lived and and you might be living your own in a different dimension in a different way you might not necessarily be going through one surgery after another and all of that but all in all irrespective of what you're going through at the end of the day as long as you love God and you're called according to his purpose this is taking you to that end that God told you about the thing is you've forgotten what God told you in the first place go back to the message I don't know who I'm talking to but I sure hope 
and pray that this word reaches the right person at the right time. And if this word blessed you and you feel like you want to partner with my ministry or you want to just support with my ministry, maybe with a one-time seed, if you are late in your spirit to do that, just check the description box for the cash app or PayPal, or you can just hit on the super thanks and the Lord will bless you abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Shalom.